All right, hello everybody. Welcome back to VR Master League. Here we're on channel three, and got ourselves our first a match of the OCE region, which is pronounced as I struggled earlier on. Let watch this. Ooh, hold on, hold on. Gotta get to the round screen. I'm gonna get it. Oceania. There you go. You see that? I, I got it. Oceania. Thank you, uh, Bing. All right, we're going. So our Oceania, for some reason it was really tongue-tying me a bunch earlier on. I don't know why, but it was. In any case, this is our stream here for Oceania, OCE, this, uh, putting together their six teams and able to come in uh, onto the league here and participate right alongside there with uh, the Americas, with the Europe. And great to see the activity just continuing to increase worldwide for Echo Arena. Now, here we go. It's a first round underway. Going to be dished off here to Mozzie. Uh, Mozzie's, that is to say. Uh, and Lisku for Mozzie's getting, er, getting scored on there. And Lisku uh, from Breach and Clear. Now, the first points on the board here for Breach and Clear. It's Agent Victoria, uh, Luigi Logic, Soggy... <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, bunning the snags to get me all snagged up on these names. Gotta love them. Got Cosmo, um, the richest over on Mozzie's, as well as Freestyle and Goblin. Gotta love that. Punda PCVR and Alisku. There you go. So those are our teams we're rolling with here. And uh, the first score going to Breach and Clear on this joust now will be retained in the midline by Freestyle and Goblin. Let's see. Uh, Abba over there in the Twitch chat saying hi and hey, what's up? How you doing? Thanks for joining us here on the stream. All right, so uh, taking it now, Punda PC for Mozzie's it will be intercepted by Cosmo. Cosmo getting a clear now on through to uh, Lisku on the interception. However, you can hear the comms coming through. Uh, by the by, as as per usual, if the uh, comms are a little bit too distracting, just let me know. I could always turn them off. Uh, I do believe these two teams have each other. Uh, muted for clarity uh, and whatnot, but of course, uh, you know, up to you guys. Sometimes it adds some good mix up to the stream. And a uh, deep shot going to be taken out there. Luigi Logic with uh, the good grab. Uh, it's just kind of straight on and right on through now. Random person with the follow. Thank you very much. Welcome to the stream. You're not random at all. I recognize you. Uh, now through the catapult, you can hear the comms going through as they try and collect on the stacks. And uh, look at the speed coming in. A brief overshoot, but they're still going to be able to wrangle the disc. There's Punda having it stolen, though, from Agent. So Agent Victoria. And uh, the clear, that's going to have a chance at bouncing in. It's going to uh, go to the other side of the wall. Goal briefly exposed here. Still exposed. A little too high on the shot, kind of under-arming it. And a second one also digging off, but collected again. Cosmo through the goal, and there's four points for Breach and Clear. Breach the goal. They did. All right, so uh, three minutes into this first round here. And uh, four points on the board, two scores for Breach and Clear. So Mozzie's on this launch. It's freestyling, trying to QB it over to the richest. Uh, the second pass taking a bounce off the wall and will uh, just be recollected by Breach and Clear. So back again to the blue side of the floor where there's a pair of players, one for either team that is uh, coming in. And it's freestyling Goblin just dodging and ducking through Agent Victoria. And Victoria taking the very soft uh, boost off. Now that said, uh, deep into the other side, Freestyling Goblin once again needs to watch out for Agent Victoria. So Victoria being very uh, pesky there, just on the midline defense. But Luigi Logic with the disc sends it through. Will be overtaken by Freestyling. And positioning out, I like the rectangle uh, formation they've got going on. Have some passing options, getting it over here to Lis uh, Liskux with the disc and the score. So very nice distribution. Disc tribution, if you will, uh, on the passing plays. And oh, they actually got a three. I didn't even realize that at first. So brings it right back to within one point. And that's a nice hit for Mozzie's. Courtesy of uh, Liskux there. All right, uh, so uh, Cosmo. Uh, trying for the rollout on the bounce. Might still get to the hands of the teammate, but no, will not be the case. A uh, light pass is received here by the richest 866. And a freestyling goblin now uh, taking over the disc has options 
Good even uh, once again, see, I like the fact that the uh, teammates here from Mozzie's are already spreading the floor pretty well. And you can see, you know, attempting to uh, avoid the clump up. Once they see that one of their teammates is in position to possibly get the disc, they're not all just continuing to dogpile. So that's nice awareness from them. And a good pass there on the, to the shoulder. Now tapping off and going for a shot. And oh, right off on the roof. So it uh, looks like, not sure if that was on the stun or perhaps just uh, kind of winded back into the goal. Let's see here maybe on the replay if we can see. It's a little bit small for me personally. So uh, still hard for me to tell, honestly. Uh, but uh, National Agency stopping in, asking a uh, quest team. I'm not sure. Maybe. Maybe, probably. This is uh, a uh, team of... Hold on. I'm going to pull it up again here. Just you wait. Oceania. There we go. Oceania. Re I don't know why. That's really ca uh, getting my tongue tied every time I attempt to pronounce it. <laughs> but it's the Oceania region. I keep wanting to say Oceania for some reason. Every time. <laughs> uh, it kills me. I've done that for a few names this week. Not just uh, the regions, but there's a, there's a few names where I keep wanting to say something else. And I don't know. I'm going to have to work through it, folks. But nonetheless, uh, the OCE region, we'll just call it, yeah? And making their debut here on stream. So very nice to see. Now, in any case, uh, yeah, they uh, might be quest team. You're mentioning the the open comms you can hear. Uh, indeed. So that could be the case. And Cosmo, great steal! Look at that. Bounces in for the goal at seven to five, up by two. Nice grab and a nice shot. Furthermore, so seven to five, and we have a uh, three forty left here. Of course, uh. Those are joining us too. We also have games on channel two of VRML, that is to say. They're being uh, casted right now. Sir Dimwi and Sputnik Cobra are casting uh, Phoenix versus Technique. So you can tune into either or. Thanks for joining us uh, all the same, wherever you are and whichever channel you're on. Now, uh, Panda PC VR with a disc, uh, the back out there, the comms coming through, and just nice spacing once more, trying not to clutter up all too much. And the touch, oh, soft enough to get on the feet, actually. So it wasn't the fastest shot in the world, but it was still where it needed to be to get through, and that's a tied-up game, actually, seven apiece. So they'll take it gladly. Yeah, I was kind of mentioning earlier, too, if uh, open comms are a bit too distracting or what have you, I can always t uh, turn it off, but figure a lot of people seem to like hearing the comms on stream and I think especially since this is a solo cast at the moment that uh, just adds a little bit more I don't know ambiance <laughs> little little bit more liveliness to the stream than otherwise there might be if it was just me uh, but over here to the bottom ramp now it's going to be actually taken uh, off the floor oh it's just overstretched on the the reach but uh, Panda will get the disc back here now uh, tied up two minutes left in the first round still and just trying to look for their opportunities as it goes to the bow tie taken by Agent Victoria, who slings it immediately. Now uh, will be taken back by Freestyle and Goblin. Every score here becoming more and more important. The richest 866 looking for a uh, deep throw that's going to bounce all around and eventually get mighty close to the goal. It does not convert on it. But taking kind of a sideways bowling ball shot just about. Usually you see some of those from the ramp, but that one just kind of hugging the wall all the way uh, from the side. But uh, nonetheless, freestyling Goblin. He's going to try and style in from some, for some goals if uh, he can. But uh, losing the disc and the handles. 90 seconds remaining here. Next score could very well be the round winner just at this uh, current pace. All right, so the clear uh, does go through, but just will be intercepted by Soggy. And uh, Soggy retaining this. You can hear the comms once more. A minute 10 remaining in this first round. Where uh, Agent Victoria does manage to nab it and back it out. That is, just slap it right behind, but finding no one but Freestyling Goblin on a turnaround. Couldn't get the clear. So uh, now it's starting to pile up. One of those rare pile-ups, and oh, the shot almost in. That looked great. Unfortunately, though, for a breach and clear, that did not go in. Could have been devastation for Mozzie's uh, had they conceded that one. And uh, still yet, though, on the offense. Oh, the grab barely over the reach, though couldn't convert uh, on the wedge now. 37 seconds left. Might be eyeing an OT or a game winner. One of the two coming on through. So an uh, interception here, big from Soggy. 
Uh, Soggy Bunning will look for a clear. Uh, wasn't able to get it through now. Uh, uh, both teams have goalies just permanently stationed in place uh, for clears just like that. Trying not to concede anything here in the last remaining seconds of the first round. That said, a pass will be cut off. Oh, but cut off again and oh, the shot just off. Now back into the hands here on the slap out. So dangerously close and that just as well would have been devastating. Uh, for breach and clear, maybe one more though, trying to clear through for the goal! Oh, the game-winning shot from breach, or from Mozzie's on breach and clear, freestyling Goblin! That had to have been at 0, 0.0 just about. That was one of the most narrow game winners I think I've seen in a good while. Wow. 10-7 to 7 on that winner! I want to go pull up the, the clip just in a second here because I'm really curious just to see myself. I don't know what that timing was. So here, I'm going to go to the score screen, but I need to find this out. Now, let's see. Oh, that's up. Uh, did they just restart on me or something? That's interesting. We're already going for uh, round two, it would seem. Okay, never mind. I have no time to go look at the time, so I'll have to just clip that or look through the VOD later. But that was... Uh, that was crazy. All right, well, in any case, going right back at it uh, into round two. So right away, no break at all. These uh, teams both really wanting to play and get it done. Not wanting to waste any time at all, apparently. <laughs> all right, so uh, on that deep one, oh, another one of those shots just barely going to miss, but taken back on the rebound, but grazing the barrier, unfortunately. Couldn't take advantage of the off-balance defense, so instead, uh, will be the richest 866. Looking for a clear. Gets it uh, fairly successfully. We'll take a few bounces, uh, eventually finding the bottom of the ramp. And by the arrows, it's Punda. Now, Punda just missing. Oh, the shot actually over overshot rather on the grab, but initially, or uh, then uh, recollected by Soggy. Now, still maintaining possession. Just kind of curious about the possession time as well. And yeah, looking. Uh, Red, 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 red. Apparently they didn't actually restart at all. It was just a case of uh, they they manually change the times to be minimal between rounds, which is interesting. I haven't seen teams do that before too much, so that's why the between rounds was actually so uh, quick. They had just uh, set the rules that way themselves. And I'm not complaining. <laughs> Definitely uh, better for high-paced action, I do suppose. But uh, nonetheless, the richest gets the disc back here, intercepting it in the back line, and we're uh, definitely seeing a lot of that back and forth action here going. Uh, to and fro on the orange and blue sides of the arena. Now, uh, that shot, tough angle, kind of fading to the left, so was unable to connect. But uh, certainly connecting with the punches up top on the brawls for both these teams. Now, a good short-range leech coming in from uh, Luigi, and then a punch as well, so Luigi now getting stunned out. Double brawl, actually, but good stuns coming out from Luigi. Now, all the meanwhile, Freestyle and Goblin, who uh, his name has been coming up pretty frequently. So definitely uh, good positioning from Freestyle and always seems to be in the right place for the grabs on the disc. Now that said, Agent Victoria just trying to send a soft one over to the opposite side. And looks like with a little time to spare, but uh, perhaps comes a little bit too late. So unfortunate for them, they'll have a, a turnover against them. And now Panda getting a deep clear and uh, will sail back to Soggy. Soggy just maintaining that uh, firm goalie position way in the back line. Meanwhile, for Punda, just sending it over to the opposite side. So, Riches, you can hear the call-outs from the teammates as well, asking for that trench pass. So, yeah, trench, ramp, called a little bit of both depending on the team, depending on the region, I do suppose, but... Uh, nonetheless, it will be overtaken here. Agent Victoria gets the clear, uh, but there you go on the other side, Liskux. Now, Lisk will look for that clear, but see uh, the positioning once more. Very good from uh, Luigi as well, and uh, just a lot of a lot of calls, but the pass is not really connecting where they want to, and uh, that's just resulting in this uh, turnaround kind of back and forth throughout the arena for the past few minutes here, unable to convert on the shots. And of course that, uh, oh no, <laughs> oh the shots, speaking of. Wow, again we see one of these long, long range heaves uh, bouncing their way in. That has been a theme over the past few days. Even more so than you may usually expect, uh, but a lot of those gradual bounces from deep. And now that was a very nice hit. They're going to take it. Uh, points are points, and that's three for Mozzie's.
So Mozzie's up on the series for those who may be uh, just joining. It was a 10 to seven victory in round one for Mozzie's, but it was extremely down to the wire. And I still intend to go take a look at the, uh, the replay because I want to see what exactly the timing was on it. Now uh, we'll be, oh, loose disc and uh, too soft on that one. A very tough uh, wrangling of that disc. But yeah, that game winning shot in round one. It had occurred, it, it had to be so very close to the, the absolute buzzer as that shot. Absolutely, yes, sir. Freestyling Goblin uh, gets it on a much bothered goalie there. So uh, good job in the coordination. Going for one of those almost uh, famous Joker plays in a sense, where it was really Joker who started doing a lot of those uh, stuns on goalies and taking three-point shots ever, ever since 2018, really. I mean, that, that was... Even in the very early days of Joker, they uh, would go for those kind of plays quite a bit. So nice coordination coming in from Mozzie's uh, to get them two threes here to start off this second round. And uh, well, I say start off, but we're already halfway through. Now Panda, another three, and oh my goodness. That one, very much intentional. And uh, with a little bit of sauce, it's a nine to zero. Halfway through this second round. And Mozzie's looking to maybe take this one away, but still some time to expend yet. All right, under five. So here we go. It's Agent Victoria, a, a pass fake, and actually just pass both the stacked players there, losing their handles and finally getting it recollected here for um, Mozzie's. But it doesn't really matter because in the back line, they still had a couple other players available. <laughs> can hear some of those gums coming uh, coming in. Uh, but nonetheless, they're going to just look for the disc here. The back liners, uh, both teams here leaving some deep back liners in that goal. Now, of course, over time, uh, you'll notice uh, a lot of teams as well as uh, they get more uh, familiar with the meta and, and such. They'll start dragging out those uh, perma goalies more into at least midline roles at minimum. But uh, just one of those things over time, you know, the, as as you get higher in level and higher in experience, for sure, the uh, the less and less dedicated roles there are. You know, we just saw those golden master tier, you know, teams across this week competing on Channel One, uh, oftentimes there, and you'll notice there's very few weaknesses whatsoever. Uh, any particular pers uh, pers uh, person on each team of these uh, top teams really can kind of interchange. They can go to midfield. They can all strike with a you know, a decent level of ferocity, more than decent, in fact. And, you know, even even goalkeeping these days, uh, there's definitely people who are better at it than others, but no one, uh, I want to say, is just straight up, you know, bad at it. Uh, it. It's a lot of role filling. It's a lot of uh, dynamicism being shown. And kind of, uh, yeah, hoping to to continue watching these teams as they develop, employ much of the same things. You know, get more more fluid with. Uh, just the positioning and things like that. But nonetheless, I really do like the comms, the spacing out from these two teams, getting a deep clear there. And a light boost coming on from Cosmo. Now Cosmo has it stolen. You hear the red call uh, coming in from the goalie, and I really do like that from Beach and Clear as well. It's one of those other uh, situations where you see for a lot of experienced teams, especially it's that backliner, it's that goalkeeper, the midfielder, who does a lot of the call-outs, the, the captaining of sorts, being a player coach. So I definitely like that. That is a good steal from Panda. No, you joking. Excuse me there, had to take a cough, but just like the uh, emoji. But nonetheless, uh, back to the bow tie, overtaken here. And Liskuk sending one down low. It's going to bounce, but not go in, thanks to the dive out there from Soggy. So we'll be taken back by Riches and Rich finding Liskux and he's not going to get the shot because of that awesome defense there from Luigi. Just the uh, plunger in goal. Now it will be freestyling with that disc collection off to the opposite side looking for his teammates. Has two of them but a bit too much strength on the pass so couldn't complete the catch. Nice. And now Punda PC uh, has it stolen here, or intercepted rather, some slap outs, and now there is one of the pileups that we haven't seen a ton of necessarily. The spacing generally has been pretty good, so pileup forming, resulting in an open goal, but a bit too high, maybe too casual on the shot, but they'll still have another attempt at it, and skying for it, however, goes back to Soggy.
So up on the nest, and again the callouts very nice. Uh, one pass down below, but not really able to find the connection either. We'll go to the midline, overtaken here, and slung out to the blue side. One minute remaining here, and Mozzies are looking in pretty good position to uh, take this round and this match in two. And just the callouts here, but at this time, yeah, the more clock that does get expended, no matter where it is on the floor, uh, that's going to help here secure that victory with less than a minute remaining. Now, Liskux uh, losing that disc out. Uh, another one, though. Great grab, actually, as it will sail back to the post. And Punda PC there for the grab, looking for a goal right off the backboard, perhaps, but just going to be off on that one. And now with uh, one more take, 30 seconds, 35 seconds remaining on this clock. A good steal coming in from Soggy. Definitely not sagging on offense or on defense. And that, another one of those bounces nearly goes in. It's happened so much this week that I, I'm just, I'm of the mindset that every time it's going to go in because I, we've seen a good handful of those. Uh, but a handful of disc is freestyling. And uh, his positioning and his uh, just... Uh, Tenacity, his ability to really be right on that disc every single time that there's a loose one. It's usually his name being called out, so uh, good job to him as well and to his team here on Mozzies. So as that round expires and the game does expire, it's going to be the victory uh, going the way here of Mozzies. So uh, we'll go over here to the scoreboard screen, take a look at what we've got to work with. Maybe I'll even have a, a chance to check out that one clip that I talked about. Not sure I can actually bring it on stream for you, but I, I, I just want to see the timings. I'm curious. Uh, in any case, that was a good victory here in uh, debut for Mozzies and Breach and Clear on stream. Happy to get them uh, streamed and you know, happy uh, that they've got themselves you know, a healthy uh, a region starting to, to burgeon there in OCE. All right, so looks like that goal went in. Yeah, it was like right at just below the one second mark is right when it went in in that one clip. I, I got to go get that on Twitch later. That was, that was a good highlight. Uh, we've had a lot of game winners across the last several days. We even saw we saw one yesterday. Uh, what was it? Vertigo and Smash Dash. That was a great one. We saw one in overtime versus uh, Team Gravity versus Phantoms earlier. Like I said, uh, a lot of great plays and highlights being produced as of late. Oop, just realizing I didn't get the other scores in. Apologies on that one. It was uh, indeed a nine-point victory for Mozzies in round two. So let me correct that for the stream. And there we go. But all right. So as this expires, this, this will be our one stream uh, for this particular hour. We do have... Do Slash did have a game over on Channel 2 as well by Sputnik and Sir Dimwi between Phoenix and Technique. Uh, that may or may not still be going on, but started around the same time, so... Might be a little bit narrow, just taking a look at it. And uh, yeah, it looks like that game had just ended uh, as of the last couple minutes as well. Uh, was Technique taking that victory on Channel 2. But all right, so uh, that aside, uh, we have more matches coming up later. Going to go look at what we've got to work with. And yes, so in about f uh, 38 minutes from now, so at the top of the hour on channel one, will be Space Monkeys versus Turbo. So be on the lookout for that one in, again, about uh, 30, 30 some minutes. And that'll be cast by Sputnik and myself, perhaps another caster, we'll see. But that'll be on channel one. A little bit later on in the night, we'll have a match between Pineapples and Mozzies, who we just saw finish out here with the uh, win and uh, we'll also have even later on yet a Leviathan another uh, OC team versus Breach and Clear who we saw here uh, as well so more opportunities to see these teams from the other side of the globe it's been fun and uh, we'll continue to follow them here throughout the rest of the night but uh, until then I've been Palador uh, this has been VRML shout out National Agency Technical Rex and Punda PC Stopping by there. 
And yeah, it's been fun. We'll see you again real soon.